what's going on. Here's the news coming out of Hollywood. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Simon. I'm here at the red carpet movie premiere of I Am Legend. Let's see what the celebrities have to say. So, you act, sing, produce, you do everything. Is there anything you haven't done that you want to? I always wanted to play in the NFL. Who's your favorite team? Dallas Cowboys. Oh. Rock, why you, what Ooh, you doing honey, that for? No. You must be, you must be from D.C. Uh, oh, no, 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 Eagles. Eagles? My, my okay, team. all right, you'll never make it, but good. Oh, good. oh, honey, that's good. so mean. <laughs> you never make it. In three words, how would you describe this film? Three words, great action film, dude. Dude's a fourth, but it's okay. Dude doesn't count, dude's not a real word. Okay, fine, a great action film, yeah, period. That's it. Dude. <laughs> so let's play a game. I'm going to give you just two choices, oh, yeah. and you have to pick one, all right? What sort of game are you going to play? I'm going to give you two names. You just have to pick one. Okay, what? Beowulf or Grendel? Beowulf. Dragon or sea monster? Oh, dragon. Lust or greed? I like it better. Naked CGI of Angelina Jolie or naked CGI of Anthony Hopkins? Uh, Angelina. Hey, what's up? It's me, Simon. I'm at the red carpet movie premiere of Live Free or Die Hard. Check out what the celebrities had to say. What's your part in the movie? You have a small part in this movie, right? I do. I have a small part in real life. I have a small part in the movie. It's uh, I played a guy that gives him a bunch of information uh, about the bad guy. Are you a Die Hard fan? I'm a huge Die Hard fan. That's why I did the movie in a heartbeat, man. So you play uh, Bruce Willis' daughter in the movie. Tell me about that. Is it was that great. I got to be McLean. Was it scary for you that he was your dad in the movie? It was intimidating, that's for sure. Now, for people who don't know, this movie actually comes in a series of video games. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Who, how did I ever get the job? I don't, I don't look at all like that dude. You don't like him, huh? You don't like the way he looks? No, he, lo he looks great. Oh, you don't like the way you look? No, I'm, I'm just saying I don't look like him. The all-star cast from the movie Hairspray made their grand entrance on New Jersey Transit's light rail Tuesday night. The reason why Newark had all the glitz and glamour? It's home to movie star Queen Latifah. I love, I love everything about it. I'm just, it's where I grew up. It's what I'm used to. Even the cast and crew of the film were excited to be in the Garden State, celebrating their success. All the excitement out here carried over inside in Prudential Hall. That's where Queen Latifah was honored. What's up? It's me, Simon. I'm here at the Miss Horror Fest competition, ready to talk to some of the finalists. What they win is $50,000 and a contract to represent After Dark Films for one full year. Now tell me, what are you going to do with the cash prize if you win? Number one, pay off the job. New Line Cinema, known for their movies like Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But the characters don't just stay put on the screen. They come to life every Halloween in the form of costumes. So tell me, how long has New Line been coming out with these costumes? since 1987. And not only does New Line have costumes, they also have props, toys, and decorating pieces. It's wedding season! Not this time, Vince. We won't be hearing wedding bells. Instead, Vince will be crashing a different type of party, way up north. From the same director that brought you Wedding Crashers comes Vince Vaughn's new holiday comedy, Fred Claus. So was it hard for Vince to switch from raunchy and wild to family and soulful? You know, the thing for me it was actually kind of fun because I, I, I like the spirit of the movie. Girls love a guy who knows their way around the bar. And what better way to prove your skills and turn up the heat than to make a Miami specialty? It's called mojito. It's fresh, exotic, and sweet. And all you need to start is lime and lime juice, mint leaves, sugar or sugar syrup, club soda or Sprite, and of course, my favorite, rum. And that's how you make your mojito. Salud! Come on. There you go. <laughs> Parents, listen up. Video games usually get a bad rep, but there's one game system out there that seems to be getting the okay, and it's called the Nintendo Wii. It will get your kids up off the couch and on their feet for some fun. And even though I'm not a kid, I've really learned to enjoy these games too. As you can see, I'm throwing punches in a boxing match. So whether you or your child like tennis, baseball, or boxing, you'll be jumping around instead of sitting around with this new breakthrough in video games. Global warming is taking a toll on the world and causing glaciers to melt. And even if you don't feel it, Earth's temperature has gone up by one degree. Most scientists blame human activity for the cause, but now we can also be part of the solution. There are many things you can do every day to be more environmentally friendly, and it can start by the way you drink your morning coffee. Welcome to Home is Where the Hammer is. I'm your host, Simon Chowdhury, and today we're gonna to talk about complementing your furniture using off-the-wall colors on your walls. We're gonna focus on dark deep colors like this chocolate brown, which, by the way, I love. 
and not just because I love chocolate. So while I enjoy this, get your paintbrushes ready, I'm going to show you how to add some flavor in your room coming up after the break. With each season, we have to adapt to the weather change, but often we forget about our pets. And during the winter, there are many more ways you should help the little guys besides throwing on a cute sweater. Most dogs need to have the pads on their feet protected from sidewalk salt used to melt snow. A chemical reaction is created and it actually burns the bottom of your pet's feet. So next time you're in the pet store, pick up some booties for your dog. Right, Nala? 